Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're talking about one of my favorite topics. That's right, camera gear. And more specifically, I wanna to talk to you guys about what equipment I'm using to vlog with and kind of what my current setup is. Let's do it. So nothing screams, hey, let's go outside and vlog than like six inches of snow and it being like 20 degrees outside. It's just the perfect time to go out and film. So to start today off kind of on the right foot, we gotta make a quick little stop. Now before you guys get on me, you know where I'm going, you think I'm addicted, all this kind of stuff. Listen, I'm gonna switch it up this time. I'm a new man, all right? Hi, welcome to Shaco, so can I get started for you? Hi, yeah, can I just do um, a... There you go. All right, thank you. Nice day. Thanks, Listen, I told you guys I'd switch it up, and I did. I got hot coffee instead of iced, all right? All right. So we are now got to switch over to my B camera, which is the Canon EOS R. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about what my main vlogging setup is these days. But first, damn, never disappoints. So I've been in the video field now for over 10 years. So I've used pretty much every type of camera out there that you can buy or rent. Everything from DSLRs to cinema cameras to even these crazy mirrorless cameras these days. So this is what I've kind of found to be my dream personal setup for vlogging and my YouTube content. And I wanna walk you guys through what my setup actually is. And that's going to start with the main workhorse of the entire thing. And that is the camera body itself. So I am rocking, that is right the Canon R5. The Canon R5 is an absolutely amazing camera. It's super polarizing. I think some of the debate about it's kind of cooling off now, if you will. Now I do already have a full in-depth review of the Canon R5 on my channel, if you guys wanna check that out. So I'll try not to go crazy in depth on the camera body here, but I do wanna mention a couple of things. The 4K video on it looks amazing. I shoot all my videos in 24 frames per second 4K, or if I'm shooting B-roll, I'm gonna be shooting 4K 60 frames per second or 120. And I don't even need to say this, but the flip out screen for vlogging is so damn important. So yeah, the video out of this camera is amazing. Also, if you're shooting photos, this is one of the best photo cameras out there on the market right now. So this thing is a perfect all-in-one. And in case you're wondering, I've still never had this camera overheat on me in the months that I've had it. And I use this thing on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. So yeah, this camera, it's a beast. So the next big piece of this setup is going to be the lens. And that is the Canon RF 15 to 35 2.8 and it's image stabilized. Now this lens right here is probably my favorite lens that I've ever had. There's only one drawback of it, but overall this thing is extremely sharp all the way from the center to the edges at 15 millimeters, all the way in at 35. I personally just prefer a wide angle lens for most of my stuff, especially when I'm vlogging. I've just found like a 15 to 35 or a 16 to 35 is a really good lens because you get that really wide angle. And then if you punch into the 35, it's a very different look. So you can kind of cover a lot of ground with just one lens. My only gripe is when you put it at 15 millimeters, it actually physically zooms out here and some dust and stuff like that could get in there. It's not a huge problem, but that's my only one drawback from this being the absolute perfect lens. But no camera gear is really perfect, honestly, but this thing is pretty damn close. This lens is money. Now, since we're already talking about lenses while we're already here, let's talk about this thing right here. And this thing is my Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Edition variable ND. This is the two to five variable ND. I'll have all these things linked in the description below. I'm going to use the saying that every YouTuber uses out there, but if you don't know what a variable ND is, it's basically just sunglasses for your camera. If you're going outside and filming where there's a ton of light and you want to have the correct camera settings on your camera still, like the 180 degree rule for your shutter speed, all that kind of stuff. If there's too much light outside, you can't keep those correct settings. So having something like this, allows you to screw it onto your lens. You can still have a shallow depth of field when you're filming. And this one right here, although it is a little bit pricier than some out there, you're never gonna get any weird vignetting or like the X's that some cheaper variable indies have. So I suggest investing in a really good one. 
usually for the largest lens that you have, then you can get some step down rings if you don't want to buy a variable ND for every lens you have out there. But I think this is honestly something that really kind of takes your stuff to the next level. And I would suggest pretty much everybody getting a variable ND if you are ever going to film outside. So since we're talking about vlogging and audio is important with that, let's talk about microphones. There are two main microphones that I use, but most of the time when I'm vlogging, it's gonna be this one right here, and that is the Rode Video Micro. Now the Rode Video Micro is great because it comes in at around $60 US. It doesn't require a battery, so you don't ever have to worry about charging it. It's small, so it fits in your camera bag great. It doesn't take up a bunch of room on top of your camera either. It comes with actually this dead cat, so if you're filming outside, it's gonna block some of that wind noise and it comes with that standard, so you don't have to pay extra for that at all. And if you don't need that on there, this microphone is tiny. So whenever I'm vlogging, this is on my camera pretty much 90% of the time, I would say. If I'm ever filming something a little bit more important, or I guess I want it to just be the best quality that I can, I do also have a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which I'm filming on right now, uh, recording the video. I have it boomed over here. But that microphone's gonna be more around like the $250 range, and then you have to pay for the dead cat on top of that. It's gonna be a bit larger, and you also have to worry about keeping it charged. Um, and actually I sat down to record this video right now and the battery on it was dead. So I actually had to just wait around for like 30 minutes and charge up this microphone before I started recording. So something to keep in mind there, but those are really the two microphones that I use. But the Rode Video Micro, because of the price, the small footprint, you don't have to worry about ever having to charge it or anything like that, makes it the perfect choice in my opinion. And then last but not least, we gotta have the trusty Gorillapod. So if you're ever talking about vlogging, especially because Casey Neistat made this just the typical thing for every vlogger to have, uh, the Joby Gorillapod is a great item to have. So this is, I believe, the 5K version. And I've had this same one for about two years now and the legs are still staying pretty strong on me. But this is great because if you're out filming different things, you can have this on pretty much anything, whether it be a flat surface, rocks, the bed of your truck, whatever it is. Um, the Joby Gorillapod, you can kind of just move the legs around and have your camera set up on top of it. So I know a big competitor these days is the SwitchPod, which I actually haven't had the pleasure of trying out yet but the only thing that i don't like about the switch pod is that you can't lower the camera you kind of just have to deal with the height that it is so for now i'm still rocking the joey gorilla pod because you can kind of lower it put it over anything kind of level out your camera on pretty much any type of terrain and i know some people have their camera physically on top of the gorilla pod and they walk around you know filming like this so you have your camera on top and you're vlogging yourself like this but for me personally, these mirrorless cameras are so small these days and so light. If you don't think they're light, hit that weight room. No, but for real, um, they are so small and minimal. And usually if I'm vlogging, it's in small kind of bursts. So I don't really have a problem just holding this out and vlogging like this. So that's pretty much it. That is my dream vlog setup, at least for now. Now, a couple quick notes I do wanna say because obviously, this setup right here is not cheap. When you add up the camera body, the lens, the microphones, the variable NDs, the tripod, everything combined, you're talking like a six or $7,000 camera setup. So this definitely isn't a beginner setup, but for me and where I'm at, this is the perfect setup for what I do. And a really big important thing that not a lot of people talk about is whenever you're making content for yourself, at least in your free time, whether it be like how I'm doing my YouTube channel where I work on stuff in the evenings or on the weekend, you have to be excited about picking up your camera gear. And I'm not just saying you need expensive equipment to do that, but I was actually just talking about this with another friend on Twitter the other day, because sure, you could build a red or a crazy cinema camera and film some sweet content here in my home office, but that doesn't really excite me. And a lot of times on my days off, I don't want to build a crazy cinema camera. So for me, having a camera that is very easy to pick up and just start recording with goes a long way for me. So if I can get something that's in a small camera body, I can take with me places, it's really easy to just get going with it for either videos or photos while still maintaining a really high quality image out of it. That's kind of what I'm going for in this setup. And I am always looking forward to picking this thing up and starting to create with it. So even if you aren't in a position right now to build this crazy expensive camera setup, which even if I wanted to, you can build setups that are $10,000 $15,000, way more than this. But forget about all the price tags and things for a second. You need to figure out what the main important things are for your own personal setup, figure out what your budget is and what excites you to pick it up, whether that be a brand or a certain lens. But for me, this is what makes sense for me with the quality content I want to do, 
with my budget and everything like that. Um, and I'm really happy with this for now, at least. Now, as I did mention, I do have the Canon EOS R. I had the Canon EOS RP before. Um, and also I even had the Sony a7R 3 um, that I started this channel on. So if you guys are interested in seeing some other type of setups that I have, I will have a link down in my description um, to my kit. And what that is, is it's a link to this website where it shows a bunch of different breakdowns of different camera setups I have and all my camera gear that I use. So I'll have that link down below if you guys wanna check out some different kind of vlog setups at different price points that might work a little bit better for you if you aren't looking to jump into the R5 workflow yet. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing just kind of like what my main equipment is that I'm using these days. I do plan on having kind of like a full camera bag video coming out sometime this year um, because a lot of things have changed, a lot of different equipment these days um, and what I'm using for just different personal content. And also in the comments below, let me know what your guys' dream camera setup would be. Is it the Canon R5? Is it the Sony a7S III? Is it the new Sony a one or maybe you just want to get like a red dragon and just yolo but guys that's going to be it for me in today's video if you did enjoy it will you please drop it a thumbs up that really goes a long way for the channel if you're new around here consider hitting that sub button i'd really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video very very soon peace guys